chapter 10, Mishnah 2. This Mishnah discusses what materials can be used to seal a container so that it will shield its contents from Tuma. What materials may we use to seal around the opening of a shielding utensil? We may seal the opening with plaster or with gypsum, a type of plaster, with tar or with wax, with clay or with moist dung, with mortar or with a paste made from earthenware powder, or with any other thing that can be smeared to form a seal. Our mission now lists some things that do not make an effective seal, but we may not seal around the opening of a utensil with a soft metal such as tin or lead, because it is a material that forms a tight cover but does not actually stick to the utensil. The Pasty materials in the Mishnah's first list, however, can be used to seal the utensil because they do not stick to the utensil. The Mishnah now lists some things that would make an effective seal, but still should not be used to seal a utensil. We may not seal around the opening of a utensil with sticky pressed figs, nor with dough that was kneaded with fruit juice, even though neither of these foods can become tame in their present state. Neither one of these tower foods should be used to seal the utensil against tuma so that it should not bring it, what is in the sealed utensil, to be disqualified. If the food seal on the utensil will become wet with one of the seven liquids, the seal itself will immediately become susceptible to tuma and become tame from the corpse in the tent. And since something tame cannot shield from tuma, whatever is in the sealed utensil will now become tame from the corpse. Therefore, the rabbis decreed that one should not seal with foods that have not yet been prepared to receive tuma. But if he did seal around the opening of a utensil with a food that had not yet been prepared to receive tuma, it does shield the things in the utensil from tuma, as long as the food seal remains tahor. The rabbis decreed only that a person should not use a food seal to shield from tuma, but they did not decree that the sealed utensil is not protected if he did use the food seal. As long as the food seal has not become tame, it does, after the fact, seal the utensil and shield what is in it against tumor.